As you can see, I have two Vault-Tec saves here, the VT-10i and VT-20i. The reason I have these is that I want to follow up on some testing I did for Vault-Tec back in 2017. At the time, I was looking at another device that has the same profile and is also a top-opening handgun safe. The last thing I told Vault-Tec before I finished that work was that I found a critical circuit on the outside of the safe, under the keypad. In a recent video, I defined a critical circuit as being a circuit with a component on it responsible for releasing the door. Anyway, vault assured me they would address the problem, and I forgot about it. Now, I've decided it's time to do a follow-up. But instead of testing the same device I looked at before, I'm going to test two different models. My reasoning is that these keypads are all basically the same, so if they fixed the problem with that other device, then these should be just fine. I'm going to start with the VT-10i, and I'll first demonstrate that it is indeed working. Now for this. Now the circuit was over here, and it looks like they've fixed it. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, to cut the story short, they have clearly updated these keypad fittings. There was a collection of contact points here where the cable connected that I was able to take advantage of in that other product. but. Not anymore. What I notice here, though, are a couple of holes. So I'm going to use a jumbo-sized paper clip and fashion a tool to try to get in there and uh, bump the release. I have to try to <laughs> salvage my demonstration at this point. The bypass cylinder is right here, and when you turn the key in it, it's just bumping a little release. So I'm thinking that I should... I can hear the latches moving. Okay, so you can get into these things with a jumbo-sized paperclip and a screwdriver to pop the fitting off. Okay, this is the VT20i, and I will demonstrate that it's functioning. And again, with the screwdriver. Again, it looks like they've updated the circuitry. I'll zoom in a bit here. It looks like this is the same updated keypad. I don't have a collection of contact points here that I recognize. I've got nothing to work with here. So that's a good sign, but I see holes. So I'm going to try another paperclip attack, and I'm walking around to the camera here so I can work from this side over here. I'll do the same thing, try to fashion a tool and get in there to flip the release because I want to salvage this demonstration, clearly. And that is not going to fit. One moment. I'll just try a smaller paper clip. 
because what what is salvaging a demonstration for a hacker? That's that means getting in. Okay, this one works. I can hear the latches. And it's open. So both of these devices can be opened with a, uh, a screwdriver and paper clips. Obviously, I have not tested every top opening handgun safe that vault makes, but I believe it's evident that even though this company continues to update its products Incorporating new weaknesses into these devices is almost unavoidable. And it's not just Valtech. This happens with every company manufacturing in China. So I don't really know what kind of recommendation to make other than to suggest that hackers out there just keep testing products. Keep pushing it.